five lots to follow at the 2023 Magic Millions Gold Coast Sale. And the first one is lot 108 at Bay Philly. By Zoo Star out of the man, Members Joy. Now, Members Joy has had three foals to race, all winners, including Pure Elation. And we all know who Pure Elation is. It's raced in some group races before. Um, this horse has a lot of power, um, especially in its hind quarter. So I think 1,200 to 1,400 will be this horse's best distance. Um, it should be going for a fair bit of money because the mum's proven and it looks a treat. It walks a treat as well. It strides out well. Um, it's nice and balanced in between like its legs and all that. So uh, this horse, definitely one to follow. Um, it's out of New Haven Park and they usually don't put a foot wrong. So I'm happy to put this horse in my five loss to follow at the 2023 Magic Millions Gold Coast Sale. Lot 253 is from Yarraman Park and it's a Bay Philly by I Am Invincible out of the mare, Precious Memories. Um, now this horse's pedigree, Precious Memories has had one foal to race, its name was Biographer. Um, it hasn't done too much yet, it was bought by James Harron Bloodstock for a fair bit so um, I think this horse should go for a fair bit as well. Um, possesses a lot of power just like the last one, should be being by I Am Invincible, that's sprinting type. Um, and it should be winning some races. I had it marked very highly in my rating system and I think it's one to follow at this year's Magic Million sale. Lot 269 is from Newgate Farm by I'm Invincible out of the mare, Quench the Thirst, it's a bay cult. Um, and I think this horse has the best walk out of all of them at the sale. It strides out really well, it's got a bit of a minor overstep, it's got noticeable hip swagger, and it's nice and relaxed. All you want to see in a yearling. The mare, Quench the Thirst, has had six foals to race for three winners, including Sangria, who won on Newmarket Day, beating Ghana a few years back. Um, it's not the most athletic type, so I might go for less of a price tag than what I think it's valued at, but I still think it's one to follow, considering that I think it's got the best walk, and it should be getting around that short course distance and winning some races. Lot 399 should be familiar to all. It's from Zoo Star out of the mare, Solar Charged. Uh, it's a Bay Philly from Wind and Stud, and it's Sunlight's new sister, and this horse I think should be going for the most money at the sale, considering it's Sunlight's sister and also because of its physique. It's very athletic, displays a lot of muscle, um, is nice and relaxed and strides out well in its walk. Um, yeah, it'll be going for a lot of money and it'll definitely be winning some group races, no doubt about that. So one to follow. Lot 682 is a Bay Colt by Zoo Star out of the mare. Breakfast in bed from Segano Stud this time. And this horse should su be surpassing the $1 million mark as well because um, Breakfast in bed, the mares produced three foals to race, all winners, including Group 1 winner King's Legacy. So this horse should be going for a fair bit of money. Um, I loved its picture, its yearling picture. Um, just displays a lot of things you want to see in a yearling. Well balanced, very athletic, uh, got a nice big hind quarter, so we'll definitely be getting over that sprint distance. And it, it's one to follow, definitely. It was right up the top, probably even just behind Zoo Star Solar Charge probably second pick, so follow this one with confidence wherever it goes.